Indra Ganawan of the Terraquaponics Facebook group requested a video explaining the water flow through the system that I built. So I'll do a quick video here just to explain to you how it works uh, from a water flow point of view. Uh, as you can see, the system includes uh, the fish tank in the middle, and then there's grow beds that are arranged around the fish tank. And these grow beds are conventional media beds. Uh, they do have an external bell siphon, which is basically works the same way as a regular bell siphon, but it's outside of the media bed, so it's a lot easier to clean and maintain. Um, and of course, it just floods and drains like a normal bell siphon. Over here, uh, we have the water input. This is what's a little bit different. Most people use water pumps to move their water. Uh, I chose to use geyser pumps. And there's a video that explains how a geyser pump works, but you can see every single grow bed has a geyser pump that's hooked up to it. And the way the geyser pump works, it basically pumps water through that air hose that you can see um, into that large tube. And when that large tube fills with air, it pushes water up the, the standpipe and dumps it into the uh, grow bed. Uh, these geyser pumps are all running off of these uh, 35 watt commercial air pumps. This is a 18 watt pump that I'm running this RFF filter with also as a geyser pump. So basically the, the, the geyser pumps pump the water out of the tank into the grow beds and the grow beds flood and drain as you can see that one draining right there. Uh, this one here is about to start draining. The nice thing about having uh, separate geyser pumps for each uh, grow bed is that it is a, a redundant system. Uh, basically, this system will keep running even if one of the uh, geyser pumps goes out, and the chances of all six geyser pumps going out at the same time is near zero. Uh, that's my Black Soldier Fly composting system, which is a whole other little sub-project. But um, in addition to the geyser pumps, I also added this RFF filter, which is called a radio flow filter. And this is all also powered by a geyser pump. You can see here there's a, a geyser pump right there uh, that's coming up and dumping water into here. And then the water is dumping out uh, and, and it's going through the stilling well over here. I have a bunch of these filter pads uh, wrapped around the stilling well so that the water percolates upwards. And then also I have sort of a scrubbing system here in the form of this algae and duckweed that's growing on top of the RFF system. So basically you can see this algae becomes like a very thick hair-like uh, substance and it does a really really good job uh, scrubbing the water uh, before it, 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 it overflows and goes back into the fish tank over here. So basically I've got filtration going on through the grow beds and I also have additional filtration happening here at the RFF filter. So that's the way the water is flowing in the system, Indra. And if you have any other questions, let me know and I'll make a video for you. Thanks a lot.